League on the Sign Language Interpretation. Now, the government says it will use all legal means possible to protect the lives and property of Kenyans. In a meeting held at State House, Nairobi, the cabinet noted the security situation in the country in relation to the violent anti government protests that have been witnessed in the past days associated with the opposition and vowed to deploy all mechanisms to ensure the safety of Kenyans. The meeting also approved a radical bill that will enhance the power of the Financial Reporting Center. As calls to hold a meaningful dialogue between the government and the opposition continues to grow louder by the day. The cabinet led by President William Ruto has come up with a raft of solutions geared towards containing the planned protest by the opposition in the coming days. In a meeting held at State House Nairobi, the Kenya Kwanzaa administration has prioritized protecting the lives of Kenyans and their property in an effort to mitigate the security threat posed by the planned demos. While in the same meeting, Cabinet approved the draft anti-money laundering combating of terrorism financing laws amendment bill that will enhance the powers of the Financial Reporting Center FRC. If enacted by Parliament, the anti-money laundering agency will have the power to request for the revocation of a reporting institution's license. The bill enhances the penalties for violation of declaration of cross-border currency, aligning them with the Financial Action Task Force standards. Moreover, the Cabinet also gave a nod to a tree planting and nurturing program in learning institutions across the country. Further, the Cabinet approved the Climate Change Amendment Bill, signaling Kenya's commitment to strengthening its involvement in carbon markets. Abdesiz Ashim for Prime Edition. The opposition has termed its 